different of these florals, and I went with the blush and pink things in here, and I'm But for spring, I found these really pretty blush pillow cases. Cause we've done this before, so you come on in. Make yourself at my home, tell me where you been. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Say welcome to our house. Okay, wow. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> I'm Brianna. This is Presley, and that's Landon. And Coley's down there, too. <laughs> And this is our spring 2018 mm -hmm. house tour. This is our flair. I always decorate that entry table for whatever season it is. So it is spring themed right now. But I do a ton of mommy and lifestyle videos on this channel, cleaning and decor along with some vlogs. So make sure you click that red subscribe button so you can join in on all of our family fun. But I'm gonna take you all around our house today. Everything in this video, if there is a link to it, I will leave that in the description box. And I will also list all of the paint colors for any of the rooms that we painted ourselves down in the description box below. And I'll take you in first to my boss lady office. But I love this gray desk. I got this from Restoration Hardware. This wall unit, it's available from Home Decorators, which is now part of Home Depot. I want to sit in it. You want to sit in the chair? Who's the boss, Landon, mommy or daddy? Me. You? Yeah. You are not the boss. Yeah. <laughs> okay, off the desk, please. You want to go show everyone the dining room? Yeah. Okay, come with me. Hey, Michael. I'm Jan Shield. Shield out. But this is our dining room. This table we got from Northeast Factory Direct. <laughs> You've never done this in your life. You, he's such a ham. You turn the camera on and he acts like a wild celebrity. This light fixture we got from Lowe's and also that hutch back there was also purchased from Northeast Factory. <laughs> All right, Landon, let's go into this room. <laughs> Presley is just so prim and proper. Um, this room was traditionally uh, the dining room, but we made that one the dining room just because we like it being longer for the table space. But we've kind of turned this into the kids' dining room, so anytime we have a family party, this is where all the kiddos sit. This is little pottery barn set, and then got this little hutch on overstock.com. And it's going to be Landon's third birthday, so one of his presents is we're gonna get him started with some piano lessons, so I cannot wait to do that. Where this piano is on loan, it actually is my sister's, but because of where she currently lives, we're housing it for her here. Hey! You gonna play the piano? Yeah, I like gas. You want me to dance? Yeah. Are you play the piano? Let's show everyone the kitchen. All right, come on into the kitchen. I currently have a lot of spring decorations in here. Um, so I got a bunch of different of these florals. Two of these are from TJ Maxx. The middle one is from Target. What? What, Mommy? <laughs> I'm talking about where I got this stuff from. Um, this was also from Target, and I found this little stand for my soaps in the Target dollar spot. Um, that's also where I found these fun little towels, too. Um, and right over here, just sort of my three-tiered stand. Looked a little springy. Got some faux florals from the craft store. And on our little boxwood wreath here, just attached a couple butterflies from the craft store, too. Pinky down. There you go. Ready? Then this light fixture is also from Lowe's. And I get so many questions about our table and chairs. The table was from Walmart and these chairs were from Target. And they know they're white with the kiddos. My husband doesn't like them at all. But Resolve is my best friend. This is my little office space in the kitchen. And I got this little charging station off of Amazon. But I also kind of organized no. this to be our family no. command center. I did a video about how I organized it in case you're interested. So this is kind of my command center in the house. I should show you the pantry too really fast. And people always want to know when they come over if my pantry actually stays organized. And it pretty much has. I did a video right around New Year's when I made some resolutions to get more organized. And I think the system we came up with stuck. So there's a video on how I did this too. 
right, before we go into the family room, I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly our back patio area. And this is something I would love in the comments for you to tell me what you think we should do. We really wanna redo this space and we don't really know what should we do with this deck space. We're trying to figure out how we want to get either new furniture. I'm not sure if we should do a table again or more of couch seating. What could we do out there to make that space better for the summer? Oh, my shoe. Just kidding. It's funny, Cinderella's on the TV. Um, all right, we're gonna go into the family room now and sorry if I'm rushing a bit, we're approaching dinner time and I think I've got some cranky little ones on um, here. I'll sit you down right here while mommy talks. Um, but I love this couch. Everybody asks, is it comfortable? It is the most comfortable couch in the whole wide world. And just for spring, I always get different color pillows to decorate for each season. And I went with a blush and pink theme this year. Um, my husband wasn't too <laughs> crazy when I said the pink word at first, but I think he's grown to like it a little bit now, aren't they? Sure. <laughs> I guess um, it looks nice. And Coley ended up getting a new bed that I found at TJ Maxx that I just thought was so cute and perfect for her. And I have like these different pink kind of accents on the mantle for the season right now. And of course, having kiddos, we've got a little parking lot going on in one corner and a bunch of different toy bins. So this is where they play. And yes, we cleaned it up before we filmed this. Usually it's explosion of toys all over the place. Uh, but we wanted to try to make it look nice before we shared this video with you guys. All right, we got two more rooms on this floor. Follow me. In here is our little bench and our coat closet. So this is where we put on our shoes and put our coats away into that closet. Um, but behind mystery door number one, we redid this bathroom right after we moved into the house, a few months after. And I love the pink and like the gray vanity color. I feel like it turns out really nice compared to what it looked like when we first got this house. I think if you watch our first house tour, it had the original bathroom in it if you want to see what it looked like. Um, and then in here is our laundry room. I'm so happy we got the razors for our washer and dryer. It just literally with my back makes it so much easier taking things in and out of here. And then I'll show you on the wall here just so that I can hang things to dry because especially for business or nice clothes, I hate putting clothes in the dryer. These were a lifesaver because the fact that this is a really skinny tight space, I'm obsessed with these. These were also from homedecorators.com. Right, and we can head upstairs. Leslie's room right now. <gasps> Who's in here? Hey. This is Presley's room, her little nursery. <laughs> um, and one of the cool things about it actually, all of the dresser furniture was actually mine when I was a little girl. Adam just built this little gold stand for her changing okay. pad to fit on top of the dresser, but these were all in my bedroom when I was a little girl. Um, I'm obsessed with this rocker. People ask me all the time, is it comfy? I love it. The fact that it like swivels, it actually goes all the way around. And this um, ottoman also matches and rocks with it. I just don't want to show you the knock on Coley right now. Me. Um, and then Presley's bed, I got this from Babies Are Us. And the sheets are so soft. They're the Circo brand from Target. But I love those really soft sheets for a baby nursery. And the bed skirt, people always ask me where this is from too. I got that I like from Bye Bye Baby. I like um, to do a I like to do a <laughs> No, honey. And I love using cube storage for organizing kids' rooms, so I have one in here as, as well as the closet. And I've actually done an entire video on how I organize Presley's nursery in case you're interested in that. But this shelf is from Restoration Hardware and I just thought it tied in all of the off-white and ivory colors in here really nicely. Um, and because Landon opened her closet, you're getting a fast little closet tour. Um, again, I just love using cube organizers for inside of closets to keep everything sort of labeled and coordinated, huh, Presley? <laughs> and Presley's favorite thing is taking everything in and out of baskets. All right, let's go. Next up on the tour, Landon's room. All right, we are at Landon's room. <gasps> Whose room is this? My room. It's Landon's room. 
Yeah, this is another thing, guys. I would love in the comments. I'm trying to figure out a good theme for Landon's big boy bedroom because he's turning three. It's time for us to dad. The mom inside me that doesn't want my little boy to grow up as dad as he can go, but he is so excited for a big boy bed. So let me know in the comments what would you do for a room theme? Where's a good place to find a big boy bed? Uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Yeah, you got your Baron theme bear book? Yeah. Huh. But again, these cute organizers all from Target. I love them for storing everything, whether it is books or over here I've got his socks and his shoes. Um, this little armoire we actually had specially made by a local business owner. I thought it was really cool. It's like a vintage piece that he refinished for us in the dark stain. And then I know a lot of these have fallen off. I just bought this mirror from Big Lots and got these little um, wooden letters from the craft store. Spray painted them blue and hot glued them on because I saw a really similar one in the Pottery Barn catalog when I was having Landon. So it was my thrifty DIY. Really quickly, this is Landon's closet. I also did a video on how I organized all of this in case you like closet organization videos. Okay, Landon, let's show everyone your bathroom. Okay. I'm reading my book in here. You're reading your book in here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep showing everyone the house. You can keep reading if you want to. He's such a little bookworm, smarty pants. Um, and here is the kids' bathroom that they can definitely grow into. They have two sinks so that they'll be able to share this as they grow. And this is their bath and shower and toilet area. And we just kind of have the hamper and then the little training potty for Landon over there. All right, next we're gonna show you guys our master suites where all the magic happens. Right, babe? <laughs> sure. All right, this is our master bedroom. And I really tried to make this all neutral colors. So if I ever wanted to add in pops of colors for the season, I could. And at Christmas time, I actually had a red gingham bedspread. I did a whole like, Christmas decor bedroom video decorate with me. But for spring, <laughs> yeah, but for spring, I found these really pretty blush pillowcases. They're the Lauren Conrad line at Kohl's. And I thought they were a really nice soft neutral to just make this look a little more spring. Are you ready for bed? Is it bedtime for you? Huh? <laughs> One of the things that might look a little different from our last house tour, I caved. I allowed my husband to bring a TV into our bedroom. It is really nice to lay in bed and see the TV. But I, we had a really nice picture that Adam had made for me for our anniversary. <laughs> but Adam made me a really nice picture for our leather anniversary and it's down here right now because we don't know where we want to hang it in the interim. It was like hanging really nicely when I had the vanity on that wall. So we're still designing what we're gonna do with that. But I love that picture frame. It was one of the nicest gifts I've ever received. Yeah. Yeah. All right, taking you guys into our master bathroom. Come on in. We've got our shower stall right here. It's got a ton of different jets. I love that thing. Um, and then we have two things, which was our biggest non-negotiable when we were looking for houses. Yeah, yeah, you made mommy and daddy so happy to finally have our own sinks. Um, and over here, I never thought that this was a must-have, but I really don't know if I can have a bathtub ever again that doesn't have a TV over it. This is like my happy place after really long days. I also occasionally use that little wire rack to set up my laptop over the top if I need to get some work done, so. <laughs> um, but no, truly, this is probably my lady cave, if you will. The I ring, the I ring you. Yeah. Where'd Landon go? No. <laughs> um, and here, it actually is in total disarray again. I did a closet organization video, thought we're packing for vacation, but this is our master closet. I'll just give you guys like a little tiny peek. Um, but yeah, we're packing for vacation. So it's a bit of a mess in here once again. It's a mess. All right, last up on the tour is our basement, so follow me. Come on. It's coming. I'm coming down the basement. Cool. 
But this is my husband's man cave bar area. He's got a bunch of different Cleveland sports decor. He's always repping the Cleveland pride. Right, on this side is the kids' play area. So we've got a little couch and TV set up for them, and then all of their toys. Down here in the basement, we have really long winters in Cleveland. Even though it's spring, we actually had snow today, so having this space where they can run a little bit and play and get a break from upstairs is really, really important when we can't go outside during very long winters. Lana, what are you cooking? I told Landon, what are you cooking? Uh, All right, and then this is my husband's favorite room in the house, his movie room, man cave. All right, and this is one of those rooms this spring or summer we actually want to do some updating to. We haven't painted the walls in here and we really want to get some new couches. The ones we have right now were our old furniture and our very first home together. And I think we want to get some actual movie seating in here. So stay tuned, there might be an update on that. And in here is a full bathroom. So it'll be really nice as the kids get older, if they have sleepovers, them and their friends can use this bathroom. All right, come on, Landon. Upstairs. All right, that is the end of our spring house tour. Make sure that red subscribe button is clicked so that you can see all of the updates we do to our home this spring and summer, and so you can see what's going on with our family. Make sure you're following me on Instagram as well at Fits and Free, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye. Oh, she's waving. Presley's going to give us the tour of the upstairs. Yeah. Right, buddy? Come. 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 Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. To be young and in love in New York City. Do not know who I am. So know that I'm good long as you're here with me To be drunk and in love in New York City Midnight into